This is going to be part two of our lesson on dividing two and four digit numbers. So we're going to start. And what we want to multiply is 9,268 times 49. So I take 9,268 times 49. I always have to start with the number that is furthermost to the right. So in this case, that's the 9. And this is where your multiplication fact come in handy. So you know that 9 times 8 is 72. So I put a 7 there, a 2 there, and a 7 up here. 9 times 6 is 54. 54 plus 6 is 60. I have one more left. So I put a 1 here, and I carry my 6. 9 times 2 is 18. 18 plus 2 is 20. I have four more left out of that 6. So that gets me to 24. I push my 2 up there. Now I do my final multiplication with my 9, which is in the 1's place. 9 times 9 is 81. 81 plus 2 more is 83. Now just to show you my process, and now we're going to deal with this 4. The 4 is in the 10's place. So before I do anything with multiplication, I need to allow for that change in place value. So I'm going to start out by placing a 0 here before I even do any multiplication. 4 times 8, 32. Put your 2 there, carry the 3. 4 times 6 is 24. 24 plus 3 is 27. Put the 7 down there, carry the 2. 4 times 8, 4 times 2 is 8. 8 plus 2 more is 10. 0 here, carry the 1. 4 times 9 is 36, 36 plus 1 more, 37. Okay, now we'll do our little answer here. We have 2 plus 0 is 2, 1 plus 2 is 3, 4 plus 7 is 11, carry the 1, 3 plus 1 is 4, good going, and 8 plus 7 is 15, carry the 1. 1 plus 3 is 4. Placing commas is a breeze. Always remember, count by threes. Or, 1, 2, 3, comma. 1, 2, 3, comma. That's how you remember how to place your commas. Our answer here is, boy, I really mangled that. Let me say this number again. 454,132. Now I should be able to, let's just pause this for a minute. I just want to check my problem here. So I'm going to put 9,268 into my magic calculator times 49. Push that enter button. 454,132. Yes. Thank you very much, people. We did that correctly. And I even said it better this time. Super job on that problem. Now we want to go to a division problem. I'm going to do more division than multiplication because I'm just assuming that uh, you guys are a little bit better at multiplying than you are at dividing. Okay, my first division problem then. Let's draw our house of division. There we go. And inside the box, let's put the number 1,021. And we're going to divide that by 30. So 30 is my divisor. My dividend is 1,021. My quotient is going to go up here. Before I even start to do this, I want to just think of some number sense. I know that 3 times 3 is 9. That's going to get me close to 10. So that's the math fact I'm working with. 3 times 4 is, is 12, and 12 is bigger than 10. So I know I can't do that. So my first multiplication step is going to be to multiply by 3. Now let's just start comparing our divisor to the dividend. Will 30 go into 1? No, 1's too small. Will 30 go into 10? No, 10 is too small. Will it go into 102? Yes. And what number did I already say I know I have to start my multiplication with? Anybody remember? Do you remember? Do you remember? One kid did. He held up three fingers. So we've got 30 times 3. 3 times 3 is 9, so 30 times 3 is 90. So I need to write my 90 right there. Okay, now it's time to subtract. And I gotta bring 10 minus 9. Can't 10 minus 9 is 1. 
Now I compare. Does McDonald's sell cheeseburgers? Compare. And 12 is smaller than 30, so I need to bring down. All right, now 3 times 4 is 12, so I know I'm going to multiply by 4. 3 times 4 is 12, so 30 times 4 is 120. And I do that, and I subtract, and I have 1 left over. So my answer is 34 remainder 1, or 34, and if I write this as a fraction, 30 is the number that I'm dividing by, so that goes on the bottom. How many pieces did I have left over? Out of 30 parts, I had 1. So that would be how we write that as a fraction. So that's our answer for this one. Let's do another division problem. So I'm going to draw my house of division. I'm going to get my drawing tool. That's all green. Let's draw our house of division. And inside our house of division, let's put the number 3,312. Put that in there. That's our dividend, and we are going to divide that by 24. So 24 is our divisor. Okay, now with this one, I'm going to show you how you could do this problem if you struggle with multiplication. All right, multiplying by 10 is easy because all I would do is stick a zero onto the number I'm multiplying by. So for example, 24 times 10 is 240. Well, 240 is still quite a bit smaller than 3,312. So I think I can multiply by 100. So in multiplying by 100, I would tack two zeros on there and I would get 2,400. So I'm going to write 2,400 right here. And guess what? That's smaller than 3,312, so I can do that. So just to remember, I've multiplied by 100, and now I'm going to do my subtraction. I get 2 minus 0 is 2. 1 minus 0 is 1. Can't take away 4 from a little tiny 3. 4 is too big, so i got to borrow. This is going to become a 2. 13 minus 4 is 9. All right. Now I'm going to multiply by 10. So I got to put a 10 here and a 240 there. Because remember, when you multiply by 10, you just tack on a 0. Multiplying by 10 is easy. Do your subtraction. 2. Need to borrow again, so this is going to turn into an 8. I'm going to bring 10 over. 11 minus 4 is 7. 8 minus 2 is 6. Well, I can keep going with that same process. Let's take another 10 out of there. So we're going to subtract 240. And we draw our line. 2 minus 0 is 2. 7 minus 4 is 3. I don't have to do any borrowing here. 6 minus 2 is 4. So now I'm down to 432. I can still keep going with my 10. 240. Okay, I've given myself all easy multiplication stuff to do because I struggle with multiplying. 2 minus 0 is 2. I have that problem. My 4 is too big. So I got to borrow. This becomes a 3. Now I got 13 minus 4. 13 minus 4 is 9. And 3 minus 2 is 1. Okay. Next step then. Oh, 2 goes into 19 about nine times. So I'm going to try nine. So over here I'm going to do 24 times nine. Nine times four is 36. Carry the three. Nine times two is 18. 18 plus three more is 216. I have a problem. 216 is larger than 192. So this is too big. So I got to go with a smaller number and I'm going to try eight. 24 times 8. 8 times 4 is 32. Carry the 3. 8 times 2 is 16 plus 3 more is 192. Hey, that's the number I'm looking for. I multiplied by 8. And I got 192. Do I have anything left over? No, I have nothing left over. Add all these up. Add These are the numbers that we I used for my multiplication. Ooh, nice job drawing that square, a rectangle. 
So I have 100 plus 30 plus 8 is 138. My answer is 138. So I write that as my quotient in my problem. And I think I have done this correctly. We should be able to check it. So let me pause this. Turning on my calculator going to clear the display and I'm going to put in 3,312. Did I type it right? Correct. And I'm going to divide that by 24 and my answer is 138 which is what we got. Job well done folks. Job well done.